Well guys, another year has passed, so it's time for me to show you my new upgrades I did in my Ryzen Judge build, so let's have a look. Here is a quick refresh. It all started way back with this, which was the original Judge build, where I modded the first release of the A4 SFX case into basically the upcoming V2 of that time frame. This was around the Intel Extreme 5960X and the famous ASRock X99 ITX board. Then the build became Ryzen Judge, since I moved to AMD's platform, where it went through several upgrades, almost a major one each year. The last 3.0 designation you can find it in this video. So here we are with the chronological 4.0 since I changed some important parts to warrant a new video where I will focus on what's changed. The first item is the CPU. Finally I have the Ryzen 5 5600X from the old Ryzen 3 3100 which was an absolute star given its price performance ratio. Storage-wise, since the Asus B550 Strix board has the rear M.2 slot as a Gen 3, I got a Samsung 970 Pro 1TB because they don't make MLC cells anymore and it was more of a personal preference and because I got it brand new for a great price on eBay. This leaves the front M.2 slot which is a Gen 4 where I can conduct my tests with these and it's easy to reach. The final upgrade revolves around the RAM kit. Since they were a review sample, I couldn't say no to the idea of having 64GB of RAM on an ITX build, thus maxing out the platform. I cover them here as well if you're interested. Then the rest is the same, still on the Asus Trix GTX 1080 and the Astatec 645 LT for the CPU cooling with the strategically placed Noctua fans. Then I did my manual overclock for the CPU like I did for the 3700X in the past and for that brief time when I tested the Friends 5600X. So I managed 4GHz on all cores for 1.05V which gives me around 90-95% stock performance but with a way better temperature curve and of course a lower sound output as well. I cover this phenomenon in plenty of my Dan A4 videos in this playlist if you want to check them out. So here are some quick gaming benchmarks and mind you since it's winter I had like 17 degrees ambient temperature. I will do another round of tests in the future with a higher ambient and to see if I can squeeze even more performance out of the CPU without compromising my main balance. Well, there you have it guys, we will see what the future may bring, since AMD will launch this year a new socket, Gen 5 M.2s are on the way, DDR5 is already here, also Intel already launched its stuff and maybe on the GPU front if I can find a decent deal that will actually fit the A4 since most top tier GPUs are now pigs <laughs> over two slots wide. Thank you for watching guys and please feel free to interact with the famous like and subscribe buttons and see you in the next one. Alex out. Coming my way, coming my way in the jungle.